really okay. wants to take that wide. I know. <laughs> Welcome back to another FSD beta drive. This is 10.10 .10 assertive mode, updated maps. And that's gonna uh, be interesting because we're gonna run into some really bad mapping issues. 10.10 um, .10 has not been great for me. 10.9 and 10.8 were really good, but this is a, definitely a regression. So we'll start out with it. The car not really wanting to give into the merge here. So I'm gonna have to take over. Uh, was not so showing any sign of slowing down for this car. So that was a pretty bad fail. Our destination here is University Circle. The car is going to take us a different way than we normally go, but we're going to let it just to do some FSD testing. So I'm running Tesla Insurance now. It came into this pretty fast, so I took over because I'm now I'm paranoid about hard uh, braking. It was just going way too fast. I want to point out that I'm running the latest maps I got a couple days ago. And it's going to play an important factor to know this because looking at what's going to happen, 490 now cuts over top of East 55th Street. It didn't used to do that. If we look at the old images, 55th, you can make a left on 55th Street, which is what the car wants to do here. So we'll take a look now back at the car. It wants to make a left on the East 55th Street when you can no longer do that. It's almost like the maps are not in sync yet. So. The car is going to start to slow down for this left that it can't make. I'm going to get honked at here in one second because of hard braking. <laughs> so that was not really very good. So now the car is trying to figure out where it needs to go next. And what will happen here is we'll see that it wants to go and make a right onto East 59th Street, which doesn't exist. East 64th Street doesn't exist. Maurice Avenue also no longer exists there, so it's going to give up. And then we can see Butler, it wants to go, but Butler runs parallel to our road, so you can't make a right on the Butler Street as well. So the car is now really struggling with old data and what it's seeing in real life. So here you see it wants to make that right on the Butler, as we saw on the map, that it is uh, parallel. So now it wants to make a right on Kinsman, and this would work, but the car veers back to the left, so I go ahead and take over. So now I'm thinking, I'm a little confused where the car needs to go, but I'm thinking like, I wanted to go right on Kinsman, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna manually go into the right lane and re-engage FSD. Now Kinsman's gone away and wants to go left on Sitaway in 0.1 mile, and they go right on Kinsman, but we're right here on Kinsman at this point. So this is confusing me very much at this point. So the car is going to go through the light. I'll let it go through. It makes kind of a jerk to the left. So I just take over. We'll see. I disengage here, re-engage. So now it wants to make a left on the East 75th Street, which is fine because when it wanted to go right on Kinsman, it wanted to go back to 75th Street and cut up. So We'll let it see if it can make a left on 75th Street because in some ways this was, was a better decision than making a right on Kinsman because that was relying on, think, on old map data. As we're coming up to East 75th Street, the car is making no effort to get over to the left. Let's just go ahead and let it go and see what happens. It coming up and again, it's just going to blow right through 75th Street. Now our next opportunity, and Grand Avenue doesn't exist either, we're trying to make it right on Grand. So now it decides Woodland, can't make it, there's no Woodland. So now it finally decides, okay, I'll take East 79th Street, fine. But we're not making any efforts to get over to the left yet. Luckily, we hit this red light, gives the car an opportunity to snake its way over into the left turn lane. And then we're finally back on a good course to get us back to our final destination. So we'll see how this left plays out. We should get the arrow in one second. And I think I had to press the accelerator a little bit just to keep through it, but otherwise we got through okay finally. Here it dodges left for this guy walking against the road, so it did a nice job of veering out for that pedestrian. Here we're gonna see a guy on the right on the sidewalk so I think the car had stopped back seeing him early. So again, 
really respecting pedestrians here. It's going to make a uh, right on red. I think I pressed the accelerator a little bit just to get it moving. We're going to come up to this yellow light, those green lights, sorry, it's going to turn yellow on us about right now. Car goes through it, then decides to slow down after it's already kind of through the yellow lights, only to press the accelerator to keep things moving. We're going to come up on merging traffic. The car is really not slowing down at all. Thinks if you look at the tentacle, it wanted to get into that left lane, so I took over. I'm going to report that one. Re-engage re it. Look at the tentacle. It wants to like snake left, so I take over again and stop the car from trying to snake up to the left of that car. Get to this construction zone. It needs to make a left here. I want to take over because I can't trust the car is going to make it. It's a yellow turn signal, so I'm just going to power through just to clear that intersection. Something about this build, it makes me more nervous, more nervous than any other build I've had for some reason. Yeah, I don't blame you. All right, so this is another case of the car thinks it's going to make a right onto uh, 490 West because that's the way it used to be prior to this reconstruction. So we really need to make a left here onto 490. It's going to miss this left because it's relying on old map data. All right, 1010, show me what you got. You've surprised me. Didn't think you had it in you. Let's see if 10.10 .10 can do as well as 10.9 did at this tough left and immediate right. 10, 9, the car was creeping well up past the building. The car's coming from the right. It's got to stop here. Can't make it. Okay. Now, after this minivan goes, if the car can make it, it's got path. All right. And it's going to miss the turn, though. So. So we'll go back around again. So it missed the turn. Attempt number two, 0 for 1 so far. We want to watch the arrow because previous times here, the arrow was outside of the road lane. It's got to go now. There's a truck coming. It's waiting too long. Now it's going to go. Okay. Has a chance to get there. And again, it's going to miss the turn. It's got a signal on. Got honked at. So it, 0 for 2. So now here it's going to be impossible because it, it can't get behind this blue car. There's not enough room for it to make it. Yeah. Up here. So this would fail. Almost sure and sure boy, this is not going to work. See it's like yeah I can't. No, 0 for 3 I can't do that. It's going to make this left turn, but then all of a sudden slow down as it enters the turn. It's made this turn fine in the past. I'm not sure why today it would fail on this left. So it's a little bit odd that it regressed there. Just attempt on 10.10 .10 and our torture test left. Okay, we've stopped back far where we always stop. Car had been good at creeping. Nothing to the right's coming. Yeah, okay, stopping for the left. Yeah. Good. Okay, another there's coming. Else coming. Okay, right's somebody's coming from the right. The car's gotta go. Alright, it didn't make it. There's a car coming from behind. Overall, I can't wait for a 10.10 .10 to be history. It's for me, it's not been a good experience. 10.8.1 and 10.9 were were both really good. 10.10 .10 seems jerkier. It doesn't seem as confident. It's been a regression, but I think these regressions are going to happen. Overall, things are getting better, but if you look at the bigger picture, I think you have to wait for these to play out. I think when we get to single stack uh, on version 11, we might see a regression, but as the neural nets take over, 
I'm hoping we're gonna see just exponential growth in learning and capabilities of FSD beta. So thanks for watching.